Good morning, peeps, and happy Monday, December 12th, 22. When you add those digits together, that's an awful lot of threes. I count four. <laughs> Gotta love how we work. And what do you think of this view? This is two of several windows. Love this room. I could every morning I look forward to sitting here and, and having a cup of hot cocoa and potentially maybe in with honest Abe with me <laughs> as he looks over as God and Jesus look over me and everyone else in this world. So I um I don't know what your beverage of choice is. I hear the native stirring, so. Anywho, um, there are just certain fun gifts I love to give at showers. And there's one I can't believe I don't remember if I ever thought about it. So with all of these weddings, I haven't heard a lot of showers, but there has been some showers mainly baby ones, but there has been some, some, uh, a few engagement showers, but pretty much it's race to the altar. So these are my personal favorites. And then I'm going to come back with another video. Um, it's going to be entitled, um, something about damsels in distress, something to that effect. But, but this is, since we've got all these weddings out there, women need to have the right tools in their kitchen. And I like to start with my personal favorite gift of a rolling pin. Not only does this roll out the dough, but it can also be used as a weapon when sometimes people need some sense knocked into them. Now, not literally, it's just about the thought. It's not about the act. It's about, you know what? If I could just pick this up and whack, whack him one more time, in the head, maybe at some point, everything will all start lining up with the truth. So that's one gift that I've given out freely, plus alcohol, because Lord knows with men, I always needed alcohol, but not anymore. I found a new <laughs> source that I wasn't relying on 100%, and that'd be him. As I'm gonna tell you right now, he rewards and he punishes constantly on this narrow road to, to, to heaven. Just saying. So my next personal favorite, and of course, they all have sound effects. Like this one would be whack. Like, you know, baseball. When you're whacking a ball. Since you could use that, I suppose, for baseball too. I don't know. Anywho, and a cast iron skillet where your iron is never depleted if you cook in cast iron. You never have to worry about the Teflon coating coming off. Yes, it may require a little more effort in the kitchen to clean, but at the end of the day, if you have enough strength to fight off an intruder, this is going to be your best friend because this will knock them out. There is no doubt in my mind. <laughs> Just say it. So for me, when I pick up cast iron skillet to cook on it, and of course, this one is square. And I, I felt it was fitting to use because the men in this world <sighs> keep trying to put a square peg in a round hole. And it's not fitting quite perfectly. Just saying. But that's my own thought process. So anyway, this, to me, when I cook with it, I constantly think of the sound, bong, because that's the sound this would make, I think, in my fun little brain that thinks like a kid, that would be the sound it would make. If not, if it were a cartoon, that's the sound it would make. How about that one? So the rolling pin and the cast iron skillet. And I'm telling you, you can cook everything in it and you can bake in the oven in it. It is the one pan that you should have in your pantry that does it all. 
I'm not sure if you cook pasta, but maybe a small little amount. But there are bigger ones for that too, a cast iron. But that's, I'm telling you, every family in, in America and across the globe should have cast iron skillet. So now this is one I never thought about until I was doing all that cinching up the nut sacks. Oh, and just hang on a minute. I've got more props to get. I forgot them. Hold on. Now, a good story always has to include some nit some some nuts, cinched ones. Just saying. In a pretty little bag. I got my sister. So anyway, let's go back to the third item for a fun shower gift. A mallet. And you know what? I think we should be decorating these. They should be, have the queen of the castle's name on them. Something. These need to be embellished. Because let's just be honest, they really don't get that dirty. And if they do, we'll get a spare. Because you need one that's in the kitchen. That when you pound those nuts that you've cinched up, you can put it back on and say, I'm not done with you yet. So as I cinch up and pound my way from state to state, bringing out the truth, one never knows what I will uncover. So when I, much to my surprise, when I was looking for my props, not only did she have one, but she had two more to spare. So this is a household of three. She thought she might have more, but <laughs> hey, the kids can join in in the fun to whack some sense in those people that just can't see the light of day. Now, this is a joke. This is not, I'm not telling people to go out and start whacking people, but in the event that you have an intruder that breaks into your home, these are tools that you can use out of the basic kitchen if your kitchen is of basic nature. These, to me, at least one, is a basic nature tool for the kitchen. Just saying, I mean, the butter knife works as a screwdriver. So, anywho, I hope you enjoyed um, this video. Stay tuned. The Emsels in Distress coming up next. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye now.